Good evening, you're on. Hey, George. Uh, let's take a, a break from COVID and let's talk about some Mr. Sunshine here. So, <laughs> yeah. A, so, a spoiler alert for anyone listening who has not watched Mr. Sunshine on Netflix, now would be the time to hit mute for the next few minutes because we're going to talk about the ending. Yep. So, that said, I'd like to hear your thoughts on the ending of the show. I recognized around the 18th episode that it was not going to be a happy ending. Yep. But I was not expecting the bloodbath of the final episode or the final two episodes. Yep. And with what little I've been able to read about and learn about that time period, it was a brutal span of time for Korea. So for the show to be historically legitimate and culturally relevant, it, it really couldn't be a happy ending. They had to stay honest with their audience as well as with the material they're working from. But even so, every major character that we got attached to, every character, regardless of their character arc, their development, their growth, if they came in contact with Ai Sin, if they were close to her, they died. Yep. And I'm just curious like, what, what you may have that I have my thoughts on it and what it says about a lot of things, but how did you react after your first and second viewings of the series? So my view is it's one of the things that makes the show really, really good. I think a happy ending would have been inconsistent with the theme and inconsistent with the conflict. So the fundamental conflict between the two heroes of the show is a conflict between love of, you know, romantic love and love uh, and patriotism. It's a con she is her highest value is her country. Her highest value is her patriotism. That is what animates her. That's what motivates her. She loves the male lead, but it's clearly uh, subordinated. It's, he is not her high of, highest value. For him, clearly, for a variety of different reasons that this, the show explores, his highest value is her. It's the romantic love. Uh, the patriotism is is borderline unimportant to him. He could he could take it or leave it. Uh, indeed, he's some during much of the show he's antagonistic to it. So you have two love you know uh, central figures whose uh, values hierarchy do not match. Something has to give. Now she could have given up her patriotism and run off with him to America. But that would have been inconsistent with her character, and 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 it would have been inconsistent with what the show is 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 all about. And it's, and he could have become patriotic, but that would have been inconsistent with his character, inconsistent with his history, inconsistent with what the show is all about. So that had to resolve itself. And in a conflict of values like that, in a time of war. It really is the only resolution. I mean, they both could have died. She could have died. But really, the, the, the resolution would be for him to die so that she can live and keep fighting. And it's heart-wrenching. It's, you know, tears in your eyes and, and horrible and sad and disappointing and all of that. But it's the only logical thing that can... It, it, from a dramatic perspective, that's the way it needs to happen. And from a values, what I like about the show is it takes values seriously. You might not agree with the values. I might not agree with her about the patriotism, but she goes all the way with it, right? And he goes all the way with the fact that she is his primary value. Therefore, he must, in a, in a, in a, in a situation where he can save her life, he must save her life. He has no option but to save her life. So I think the sh it's, it's consistently necessary. It's logically necessary from the beginning of the show for it to end that way. The other characters, you know, there's, there's, a, there's a grander motivation here. First, the other two male characters can never have her. Um, so, so in a sense, there's, a, there's a, a, a tragic element to that as well. But each one of them suffers for their own sins, right? So... The playboy suffers for being a playboy and not taking life seriously soon enough. And by the time he does take life seriously, in a sense, it's too late. So he has, as you said, 
gained and become better and become a, a, a heroic human being. But in, in a sense, it's too late. There's the, the, but by that point, his life is doomed. And I think the other two characters, one, she's neutral for too long. Neutrality in a, in a time of war leads to death. And the other character is, is, of course, a gangster. And by the time he comes around to redeeming his life, it's too late. So uh, there's a logic to every one of them dying. And then, of course, the reason they all die in some sense is there's a sense in which they have to die in the same way as Kira at the end of We the Living. And I hope I'm not giving away anything here. If you haven't read We the Living, Kira dies in the end, and, but you should still read it. She has to die. That is, in a time of disaster, in a time of war, in a time of oppression, horror happens and, and you can't evade that and you can't escape it. Even good guys, even better guys, even people who are willing. Now, what I liked about the show is that the heroine survives the fight and she continues to fight in spite of the tragedy, in spite of her losses. She sticks to that highest of values for her. So she never gives up. She is, is still pursuing her value. And that, I think, added to the power of the show. She doesn't give up. She doesn't mope. She, she's a fighter to the end. And, and you have to love, I mean, I don't know anybody who doesn't fall in love with her, uh, given what kind of, what she represents and, and who she is and what she is. So anyway, that is my interpretation of the ending of Mr. Sunshine, all of you who muted can unmute. Of course, you can't hear me, but hopefully. Uh, does that make sense, George? Yeah, and, and, and that's very much you know, how I saw it, too. I, I think where I found the difficulty was in all the supporting characters. And, and, and this is so much more credit to the writers of the show, is that you could almost walk away thinking that it was nihilistic, that it doesn't matter what you do. It doesn't matter if you grow, if you redeem, if you uh, stop trying to play all sides against each other, but choose a side, as Hina eventually did that you're still going to end up the same way. But the final scene of Isin being fulfilled, yep. of still living that life, you realize that you know they weren't sacrifices and that she's not living a life of resentment. She's not living halfway because of these losses. She's living fully exactly as well she should. And, and that final scene is what keeps the show, I think, away from the nihilism that for I, a moment there, for a moment there, <laughs> I almost succumbed to, but I didn't. No, I mean... Look, I think even in, in a lot of action movies and a lot of Westerns, people who commit sins and then redeem themselves die. And, and a lot of the morality play that's involved there is, you know, certain sins cannot, redeem, cannot be easily redeemed in life. And, um, and, and you know, I'm, I, I, the names of the movies escape me, but... Uh, you can think of a lot of heroes who, who, you know, have a dark past, do something heroic, but end the movie dying, not out of nihilism, but out of a sense of there's a price to pay. And, and you, you, you know, there's a sense in which justice is fully, you know, you can be a gangster. And, and even though you turn into a good guy, there's still a price to pay. And the price and, and a big part of that price is often your life. So. I, I think it's a it's a motif in many many movies. It's not unique to, um, you know, it's not unique to to this movie or to this series. Yeah, absolutely. And like you said, I mean, it conjures up Kira and also you know Eddie Willers and Cheryl and Alice Shrug. That in a world that's so brutalizing, yep. good ordinary people suffer the most. And it, you know, although I'm still hoping Eddie's alive, right? Francisco's hired a, a plane and they've gone out and they found him. That's a question for the next q and I'll let you, I'll let us move on the conversation here. <laughs> Sounds good. What we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think. Meaning, any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect, not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence, and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the rule of the collectivist brute. All right, before we go on, reminder, please like the show. We, we've got 163 live listeners right now, uh, 30 likes, 
that should be at least 100. I figure at least 100 of you actually like the show. Maybe there are like 60 of the Matthews out there who hate it. But, but at least the people who are liking it, you know, I want to see, I want to see a thumbs up. There you go. Start liking it. I want to see that go to 100. All it takes is a click of a, a click of a, a thing, whether you're looking at this. Uh, and, and, you know, the likes matter. It, it's not an issue of my ego. It's an issue of the algorithm. The more you like something, the more the algorithm likes it. So, you know, and if you don't like the show, give it a thumbs down. Let's see your actual views being reflected in the likes. But uh, if you like it, don't just sit there, help get the show promoted. Of course, you should also share, and uh, you can support the show at youronbookshow.com slash support or on Patreon or Subscribestar or Locals uh, and, uh, and show your support for, all, for, for, for the work, for the value hopefully you're receiving from this. And, uh, and of course, don't forget, if you're not a subscriber, even if you... Even if you just come here to troll, or even if you're here like Matthew to defend Marx, uh, then uh, you should subscribe, because that way you'll know when to show up. You'll know what shows are on, when they're on. You'll get notified, right? So, um, yes, like, share, subscribe, support. Like, share, subscribe, support. There you go. Easy. Do one or all of those, please.